Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about just getting started. Just getting started. You wanna get in shape? Just get started. That business? Just get started. You wanna go and talk to that girl that you've been waiting to talk to? Just get started. Just go talk to her, man. You want to start your passion project that you've been waiting for the perfect time? Just get started, man. I think so many people or so many of us, and I used to fall into this trap also, fall into this sense of I'll do it later, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week, I'll do it next month, I'll do it after my boss says it's okay, I'll do it after my dog gets his toenails clipped, I'll do it after uh, I go and I buy that shirt I've been waiting for, I'll wait until, you know, blah blah blah, whatever, the excuses are endless and that's really what they are. So this is an intense message or it may come off that way because I'm just gonna be direct and speak absolute truth to you. Really, the only thing getting in your way from getting started is you. So this is something you've heard before, you know. So why do we do this and how do we get over it? Well, I think the most important thing to get over or why we delay getting started is because most people are scared. And what they're scared of most is they're scared of failing or they're scared of being judged. So if it's something that you want to do that's in the public eye, you're scared of one, failing and feeling humiliated, blah, blah, blah. And the reality is no one really gives a shit if you fail or not. And that's the truth of it. Nobody fucking cares. The reality is nobody cares except for you. So no one should care except for you. So if you're afraid of getting started because you're afraid of what other people think, well then that is your biggest block that you need to get over and heal. Because the reality is even if you start to get started but you're still worried about what other people think, well then all of a sudden you're creating for them and not for yourself and it's gonna become a chore, a job, something that you hate doing rather than something that excites you, that makes you happy, that's an easy way to express yourself, much like I do with these videos. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if people like me or if they don't like me or if they resonate with the message or if they don't. My intention is that they do, and I'm very clear on what my purpose, my direction, my intention is, but if somebody wants to judge me negatively, I understand that that's got nothing to do with me. So I make this video today because I want you to get started. I want you to get over whatever excuses or blocks you've been putting in your way. You know, uh, it's honestly, when I coach people, it's like 99% of the time, you're not waiting for something to happen in order for you to get started. You're the one putting the blocks in the way in front of you. You say, I can't because it's not the right time or I don't have the money or blah, 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 blah. The reality is if you're resourceful and you want it bad enough, you will make it happen. The you know analogy or you know thing I like to do is this or the example I'll give you is you know if your mom or dad were sick in the hospital all of a sudden out of nowhere and you had to come up with you know whatever, $15,000, $20,000, who knows how you would do it, but if you really wanted to that badly, you would figure out a way to do it. Uh, you know, wouldn't matter. Everything else would lose lose importance, right? You'd be like, all I need to do is figure out how I can make this money so I can pay for my mom and dad's medical bill. So an extreme example, but I bring that up because the point of the message is, you know, we do the things that are most important to us. So if it's something that you want, that you really want, then you'll do it with no excuses. Now, I think again, let me rewind and go back to the perfectionism aspect, because I think that's important to touch on, is that we don't get started because we think that, you know, uh, we have to have these certain videos filmed, or they have to be edited a certain way, or I have to make sure each of them are in alignment, or I have to make sure I have like the Facebook cover for, you know, my group, or the YouTube cover, I have to make sure I hire someone first before I start making videos, because God, God forbid they go to my channel and they don't have a pretty cover and all this shit. None of that fucking matters, man. <laughs> None of it matters and you'll find that out when you get started you'll be liberated all this extra planning and analysis and wanting the you know you know perfect launch and all this shit it doesn't fucking matter cuz a lot of the time when you get started anyways what you'll find out is things are not the way that you originally had intended or planned them to be and you can only learn those lessons be you know by going through the actual emotion of you know going through the business going through the steps building this thing building this thing oh dang okay well that didn't work out how i originally planned it so the reality is again you're just getting in your way and putting things off as an excuse to stay in the same place stop doing it because it's just the most drain of energy either do it or don't like if you're gonna do it do it and do it and move forward but if you're not quit fucking around with it and telling yourself that you're not because you're screwing your self-confidence because every time you say that you're gonna go and start this thing you don't do it you're lying to yourself so your self-confidence is out the window because you don't even believe yourself because you never fall through when you say you're gonna do it so don't even mess with it or if you are just go for it just jump right in start producing videos start writing your songs and sharing your music start doing poetry you know sign up for that certification today because 
again, what happens is when you really move forward and you just get started, uh, another quote, uh, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, say that three times uh, fast. And he's a German philosopher uh, and mathematician, I think, as well. I'll have to look it up. A uh, really well-known um, German philosopher and literary mind, however. I digress. The point is, he has a quote that says, Be bold, and mighty forces will come to your aid. And so I bring that up because even if you're scared, especially if you're scared to get started, fucking jump right in, man. Jump right in. And when you act boldly with intention, and of course, it doesn't mean be reckless, and I'll talk about that in a second. But when you just act and you go with pure intentions and it's something that's resonating so deeply with you and you're scared that the details aren't going to work out, dude, just go. And if you act boldly, mighty forces will come to your aid, man. They really will. It's weird how it works, but all these things will start falling into place and things will come through and you know that you didn't expect. And then things that fell through actually were going to hurt your, you know, your, your growth or your pattern or your business or whatever it was. Whatever you're trying to build or getting back in shape, it was there to sabotage you. So be mindful of that. So let's review. Perfectionism is the biggest thing that holds us back from getting started. We think things have to be in a perfect situation or there's a perfect time or perfect situation. The perfect time and situation is the one that you choose to make a perfect time and situation because shit will never be perfect. There's always more planning. There's always more things to be done. You just got to dive in. Do not let perfectionism hold you back. Do not let fear of failure or judgment from others hold you back. So if we go through fear of failure again, Many people are afraid to get started because they're like, oh, fuck, what if this doesn't work out? Who gives a shit? If it didn't work out, it didn't work out. And here's the reality. It is true what they say. As long as you don't quit and you learn the lessons that the universe is presenting to you as you embark on this journey and this goal that you want to achieve, this X, whatever you want to build, as you do that and you learn the lessons, you're growing, you're getting better, your business, your project, your passion is getting better along. So failure is an inevitable part of it. You're going to have to screw up. You're going to have to get rejected. You're going to have to get doors you know, slammed in your face and hung up on on the phone for sales and things like this. You're going to have to have projects fall through. They're going to have to maybe spend some extra money or some extra time that you didn't originally plan. You just won't know until you get started. So perfectionism, got to let that go. There's no time. There's no perfect time. There's no perfect place. There's no perfect situation unless you're in the very rare minority and you're like, no, dude, I'm going to buy a house and I'm waiting for you know, my tax return or me to sell these stocks. Well then, yeah, you're literally waiting for the money and then you're ready to make a move, but that's not most people, man. Most people are just making excuses as to why they're not making moves. So there's a minority there. Now, the other part of it, again, fear of being judged by others. A lot, a lot of people are afraid of being judged by others, but you have to work through that. So the reality, it's so funny when people say, I am scared of what other people think. And if you think about it, think of it like this. First of all, there's a quote that those those that matter, they don't mind. And those that mind what you're doing, they don't fucking matter, man. So there you go. Hopefully that quote lets you get rid of all those people in doubt about what other people think. Because the reality is this, man. Imagine you start a project or doing something that you want to do that's near and dear to your heart, that you are building a business or pursuing something that is of interest or starting to uh, practice a skill or get in shape, take care of your body, whatever it is. Imagine you're doing something that you really want to do that's important to your heart. And somebody close to you will say a family member or friend starts talking shit. Imagine that. So you're doing something. So you're really worried about those other people think. It doesn't matter if it's a family member or a friend or someone super close. You're, you're pursuing something that you want to do. And someone that says they care about you is starting to talk shit. Is that someone who really gives a shit about you or is really supporting you? I don't know. It doesn't sound like it. And if they are... And they say they are, well, clearly they're not because they're just being a little hater bitch, so they're not. So don't worry about them, even if they are fucking close to you, because they're just trying to pull you down because they're feeling insecure because you're pursuing what you want to do and pursue. So the other part of it is, well, you know, oh my God, I'm putting myself out in the public eye, all my paintings and stuff. So, okay, so some random stranger doesn't like your music and tells you you're a fucking terrible artist. Some person you've never met in your life before, ever. Really gonna let some random stranger who's in a bad mood be a little hater bitch on you and stop you from doing what you want to do. And then again, if it is someone you do know and they're like, dude, your music's like kind of crappy, they're like, not that good. Well, dude, wish them the best, take the feedback and say, huh, okay, you know, my sound isn't for them. You know, whatever music I'm making, they don't like it. I, this is what I like to make. 
So whatever, you just go about your business. And then if they're real friends, then they'll be like, I don't like it, but we're still friends and I still support you. Well, then those are the type of people you want in your life. But don't worry about haters, man, because a lot of the time when you're doing what you want to do, it's triggering for people who are not doing what they are wanting to do. And you're making, you're triggering them because they're like, well, shit, I want to do that. Well, I don't want Jessica to be successful. I'm just going to be a little hater in the background and you know not supporter and stuff dude whatever you just got to identify so great as you go along your journey you start finding out the fake people man who are really about you and what you want to do and who the fake people are who really don't give a shit about you or not but remember man the reality is anything that you say i can't get started because i have to blah because of blah i need to blah whatever it is whatever you are saying i can't move forward is it's because you're the one saying what is in the way. I don't can't get in shape because I don't have enough time. You're the one fucking not making time to work out. I don't have you know enough time to start my passion project because um, I have you know work and three kids and a husband I need to take care of. So how could I start this candle business I want to do? I don't know. Get the fuck off social media. Get up at an hour early morning before your kids get up in the morning and start working on that project, you know? And so what this kind of comes to another point in a video that I'll make about some people are either problem oriented or they're solution oriented. So you have to ask yourself in order to get started or even before you get started, which one are you? Are you being a solution oriented person or a problem um, oriented person? Because here's an example of a problem oriented person. I say, great man, we're gonna get in shape. Tell me what days you can work out. Uh, you know, I can work out, you know, Monday uh, through Thursday and that's it. Okay, great. Uh, what time do you work out? Oh man, I don't know when I'm going to have time to work out because, um, you know, I got to take the kids up to school. Okay, can you get up an hour earlier? Yeah, I can, but man, I'll be really tired because uh, I tend to go to bed late. Okay, can you go to bed earlier? Yes, I'll go to bed earlier, but then, you know, I'm, I'm going to miss my show, uh, you know, and I, and I want to watch my show. Okay, can you record your show? Yes, I can record my show. Great, so you can get to bed earlier, get up in the morning, go to the gym like you said is, is important to you, right? Yeah, but you know, then I'd have to, so my point being is, Already, you're probably tired of listening to that shit. Trust me, it gets old because notice how whatever that was a hypothetical, right, between some imaginary person, but you get the point that I'm basically giving them a solution to every problem they're presenting. And every time I give them a solution, they give me a new problem in order to solve. And instead of coaching them through it, which is what I normally do for a sake of example here, I'm like, here are the answers, here are the solutions, and they're just gonna give you more problems. So you have to ask yourself if you're a problem-oriented person or a solution-oriented person. Um, you know, there are other people that I work with or whatever, new clients and all this stuff, and they're solution-oriented from the get-go. I'm like, you know, what's your time frame like? And they're like, dude, I'm busy as hell, but I'm gonna make it work. Tell me what workouts I need to do. Great. Um, I need you to, you know, start logging and tracking your food. Oh, shit, man, okay. Uh, I've never done this before, but I'll figure it out. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. You're just gonna do it and you'll figure it out as you go, man. Um, hey man, I need you to um, go buy this equipment. Um, it's a little bit of an investment in money though. Shit, man, I don't have the money for that, but you know what, let me move some things around, I'll make it happen. Solution-oriented or problem-oriented, it's a mindset. So you have to ask yourself, which one are you? So I bring this up because a lot of people that want to you know, start something and they're putting these excuses in their way, I can't because I, blah or it's not blah or I have to wait for blah those are all your excuses and then every time I would give you a, a solution for whatever your excuse is you're just gonna come up with another excuse you have to learn to be your own problem solver you have to be pro, uh, solution oriented in order to overcome these challenges that are that are facing you because if you can't even when you start you're gonna continue to put up excuses or something that's gonna get in your way from progressing and achieving what you want to achieve so you'll say, oh man, I can't, but blah, 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 something comes up. Well, you're gonna let that be an excuse or are you are gonna be solution oriented and squash that and then move on to the next level? Cause that's what it is, man. So you just gotta get started. Um, the quote I like is from Amelia Earhart. Always listen to it forever. Uh, she says, the hardest part is getting started. The rest is merely tenacity. And that is the damn truth of it. You ever said, oh man, I have this big project to do. I don't wanna do it. But you know what? You sit down, you decide to do it, you break through. And all of a sudden you sit down, you start going. And the next thing you know, you're like three hours in, you're like, holy shit. And be like, look how much I got done. All it took was you getting started. All it takes is you setting your foot in the gym. And then even if you don't want to, the fact that you're there, you start working out and you leave and go, that was the best fucking workout I've ever had. Jeez, it's wild. 
all because the hardest part is getting started. So if you want to get in shape, just take the step. Don't worry about getting out all the details and shit. If you want to just start working out, just start going to the gym. You don't know which gym, just fucking pick one and go and try out five of them. A lot of them have free passes. Get your ass in the gym. Just go walk on the treadmill. Go screw around on the machines. Just get there. Just be there. Just get started. You don't need to search and far and wide all these crazy diets and make this extravagant plan. Really, most people are just putting them, uh, setting themselves up for failure and putting all this pressure on because they're you know telling themselves they're going to do these new habits and adhere to this new plan. They're not even in the habit of fucking going to the gym yet. So don't worry about all the other shit. Just go. You know, you want to start your passion project or your business, right? And you're like, fuck. Or you're starting your your side hustle and you're like, I want to do this full time. Like, how do I make it grow? I just don't have enough time. Dude, you got to figure it out. You got to set together this time. You got to start living uh, more modestly, more frugally and start stacking a fat bag of chips so that when you make the move and you go full time into your passion project, you got a little extra money on the side that's going to allow you to float while things are growing, while things are um, transitioning. So little things like that, man, solution oriented or problem oriented, be a solution oriented problem, uh, problem solver, get over your perfectionism. There's never a right fucking time or place or situation. There never is. There never is. You just got to get sloppy with it. So let that go. Let go of judgment of yourself and from other people, especially if they're close to you, friends and family. Oftentimes, friends and family will be the biggest fucking haters because they want to keep you in your comfort zone. And again, you're just reminding them of what they're not doing. and It's very triggering for them. So don't take it personally. Now that I've given you that level of awareness, just understand that that's what it is. Say, I love you. You're awesome. And then just keep going along your thing. Now, if they really try to start hindering you and shit and they really are becoming this heavy hater and you got to deal with them all the time, then you just got to cut them out. But um, that's another story. So message very clear man you just got to get started and the only reason you're not getting started is because you're choosing not to get started the only reason you haven't get started is because the excuses that are in your way are your own excuses and nobody else's dude and here's the thing i'm not saying that they are not real situations or problems you have to be a fucking problem solver to overcome those so you can get started and do whatever so remember that you're not a fucking victim. You can handle this stuff. You can handle whatever's in your way. Now, the other part of it is, and I feel it's important. I was going to stop the video right here, but I think it's important to also say is yes, there is an element of strategy. There is an element of planning. You don't want to be completely fucking reckless and be like, well, Pierce, watch this video. He's like, quit my job, man. Girl. I didn't say any of that shit. I want you to be practical. I want you to be pragmatic. I want you to be cautious. I want you to be calculated, but I don't want you to get stuck in the mud and just fucking dick around in your head all day and say, I'm going to do this. I swear I'm going to do this. I've been thinking about it for five years. It's like, dude, just start doing it. Just start doing it. The other saying is do the thing and you will have the power. So you feel like an imposter. You feel like, you know, you don't feel comfortable speaking or whatever. Start speaking, do the thing. All of a sudden it'll come naturally. Do the thing. You will have the power. Just start moving forward. When you actually make the first step, that's really scary. It's really crazy, man. All these things will start happening in your life and people will start leaving your life. New people will come in. All kinds of shit will start shifting because that's the universe helping you move towards what you actually want. But again, until you make that decision that I'm going to get started and I'm going to be a solution oriented person that anything comes my way, I'm going to fucking handle it. That's why I just got out to share this with you guys. I just got this tattoo and this is why I got it. I can and I will. And that's why I got it because... If I can do it, then I will. And there's nothing in this life that can or cannot be done. I just have to fucking figure it out. So it's that simple. That's why I got that. I can and I will. And it's that simple. You can and you will become a solution-oriented person. Drop off all the bullshit. Just get started. Just get your ass in the gym. Just sign up for that coaching certification. Sign up for art classes. Go and fucking start doing it today, tomorrow, next week. But sit there right now after watching this Click the button. If you've been waiting for a sign to say, God, why, what do I need to do, blah, blah, blah. Dude, you just got to go. You just got to fucking get started. <laughs> quit, quit procrastinating. Just get started. It's literally that simple. All the other shit. So if I say, if you were to tell me what you really want to do right now, and you say, Pierce, I really want to be X. I really want to do X. And I go, great, what's the first step? And then you tell me the first step is, blue. this is what I need to do. And I go, great, just get started. If for even a second you start going, yeah, but, blah, 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 and you start going off on this bullshit, those are your fucking excuses. Stop. Nothing else needs to be done or said or thought about 
after you say this is the first step that needs to be done just do the first step do the first step take the first move just get started everything else will come into play so if you start taking on a whole range of thoughts and fucking emotions uh, I can't cuz blah 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 this is the first step and I say great go and get started go and do that first step and you go well I can't cuz blah 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 remember that's all your fucking excuses just stop the conversation there don't take it any further in your head go and get started that's it um, intense man it's crazy I feel like I do this shit all day <laughs> 20 minutes goes by um, but anyways I hope this was valuable man I really just want you to get started I want you to get started I want you to break out of your box I want you to go and be free and start experiencing and creating the life that you want man that's how you do it and the only way to do it is just to do it do the thing and you'll have the power that's it love you guys appreciate you watching please like subscribe comment uh, ask me any questions, anything like that. I'm trying to share this message with as many people as possible. Uh, best way to do that is by clicking the buttons, doing the things uh, for the YouTube algorithm, subscribing and all that. So love you, appreciate you, and I will see you next time.